So I've had three kids. All three of my kids were born through inductions and I had an epidural with all of them. I'm a labor and delivery nurse and I have helped hundreds of women through labor and so as I was preparing for my fourth baby, I decided that I wanted to go natural this time. Early Saturday morning, when I was 39 weeks pregnant, I woke up to a sudden feeling of being very wet. The first thought that went through my mind as I like nudge my husband is, did I just wet the bed or did my water break? But it's 2.30 in the morning, I'm completely tired, so I nudge wake my husband and I'm like, Jeremy, help me out, I think I just wet the bed or my water broke. And he's like, what? And he gets up all groggy, he turns on the light and we pull off the covers and there is a massive puddle in the bed. So he grabs me a towel and I go to the bathroom and I'm like gushing fluid still. And I'm like, man, why can I not control this pee? I must really have to go. Like I was so out of it. So my husband comes into the bathroom and he says, okay, I cleaned up the bed. I'm just gonna go back to bed now. And that's when it dawned on me. Like I'm nine months pregnant. I didn't wet the bed. <laughs> like my water broke. It's go time. We're getting everything ready to go to the hospital and suddenly we hear a buzzing noise. And I grab my phone and it says, baby. And this is at 2.45 in the morning. I have an alarm set for baby. And what had happened is that Kendra had asked me before to clear my schedule for the last week of her pregnancy. And I happened to schedule it for that time. So this baby was apparently right on schedule. So we're headed to the hospital and all I can think of is that I never took maternity pictures. I know that sounds really lame. Like I was excited to be going to the hospital and having my baby, but Jeremy had been really busy with work and I hadn't had any maternity pictures, and so we had scheduled it for that Saturday. That Saturday we were supposed to do that. We check into the hospital and we get into the room and I say, Jeremy, I'm not gonna get maternity pictures. Can you just take some pictures of me right here in the hospital room? And let me just tell you, hospital lighting at 3 a.m. when you're contracting does not make for amazing maternity pictures. Schedule those in advance. 7 a.m., the nurse came in to check me and I hadn't made any change. My cervix was still three centimeters. So she said that I could go ahead and get up and go walking until the doctor came in. So Kendra was on a mission to get this baby out. And the one thing that she could do was walk. So she was booking it. She was going up and down the halls as quick as she could. And I was just trying to keep up with her. And that wasn't easy. We walked for like hours, it felt like. I was trying to get a little bit sore. I mean, my feet were hurting. I had side cramps. My lower back was hurting. But you know, she was the one in labor, so I didn't complain too much. So at 9 a.m. after all this walking, we went back into the room and the doctor was there and he checked me and there was no change. I was still three to four centimeters. And he told me that at this point we needed to start Pitocin. And I was a little bit discouraged. I was really hoping to do this on my own this time. And I'm really proud of myself about this part of the story because I stood up for my feelings and I told the doctor that I understood why he wanted me to start on Pitocin and I asked if I could have two more hours. I said, just give me two more hours to try. I feel like my body can do this, give me a chance. So he told me that I had till 11. We head back out to start walking and we walk for at least another hour. And, um, but the contractions are picking up in frequency and they're getting more intense to where I have to like stop and breathe through them. And at one point, Jeremy watches me like kind of breathing through a contraction and he says, you know, maybe we should go labor in our room now. And I was like, no, 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 I'm fine. Yeah, we were starting to make people a little bit nervous. And then the next contraction, I'm like, realize that I'm there standing against the wall like, <sighs> and I realized he was totally right. It was time to go to the room. So on our way back to the room, I asked the nurse to come in and check me and I said, I can't wait till 11. So she checks me and I am six to seven centimeters and at that moment just this wave of emotion just rushes over me. My other labors with my first three kids had gone really quickly and from seven centimeters to birth was usually about 20 minutes. And so I just had this moment of realizing what was coming and how quickly it might be coming and I was scared. So I got down on the birthing ball and I made it through one more contraction before I said, Jeremy, go get the nurse, I need to be checked again. At this point, I was eight centimeters. The nurse stayed within the room with me at that point and I made it through one more contraction. She checked me again and I was nine and a half centimeters. She's, the nurse at this point is hurrying and setting everything up and the doctor's getting called in. So the doctor and the nurse are telling me that Kendra isn't allowed to push anymore, but all Kendra wants to do is push. So we're like trying to keep her from pushing and I can see the head and we just don't want the baby to fall on the ground. And Jeremy looks down and he says, I see the head. And that freaked me out. 
like the doctor's not even standing in front of me yet. So I see the doctor trying to like wash his hands and I'm like, get your gloves on, please get your gloves on, please hurry, hurry, hurry and get your gloves on, please hurry and get your gloves on. I felt like I was trying to stay as composed as possible, but I just felt like he was going so slow, but it was only one contraction. It couldn't have been that long. Anyway, he came over and the next contraction, Laura was born. So how are you feeling? I'm gonna switch out blankets. Okay. The moment of the beauty of seeing my daughter for the first time combined with realizing that I had accomplished my goal. I had given birth naturally and I was really proud of myself and grateful to be with her and grateful for Jeremy's support through the whole experience and it was it was a really beautiful birth. We're way off. I was so proud of Kendra. She's a tough girl. When I first saw baby Laura, I just thought that she was beautiful and I was so excited to have another little person in our family. I felt such love for Laura in that very first moment and that love has only grown. I'm so grateful to have her in our lives. We love you, Laura. Do you want to say hi? This is our baby. Oh, yeah, Laura. Baby. I hold it. Oh, hold it, baby. <laughs> <He's got> it. <laughs>